Welcome to this year's Halloween special. Over the years, we looked at scary things in Mario games, but there are other franchises that hide many scary things, and one of those franchises you wouldn't expect to find scary things is the Kirby franchise. I mean, Kirby's a pink ball, he's all cute, how can anything be scary in a Kirby game? Well, get ready, lock your doors, turn off the light, and get ready. I'm Spooky Nico, and here is my top 10 scariest Kirby enemies. The final boss in Kirby Return to Dreamland for the Wii is one weird guy. His name is Magalor and has many forms. One of those forms is Magalor EX and it is truly weird looking. It is some sort of red thing with hands and a dark face with a crown. Does this thing consider itself to be some sort of king or prince of a kingdom? Well, killing it with Kirby's sword is very brutal. I mean, look at the intensity of those attacks. There is no way that thing survived that. Well, you are wrong. Introducing Magalore Soul. Everything evil about this thing reincarnated in some weird dark matter with a smile that looks at you all the time. This evil thing can create black holes to try to suck you up so you disappear for good. I truly believe the reason why this guy is scary is because of his funny face. What kind of monster can attack you with that kind of smile? You have to be completely insane. Kirby Dreamland 3 is home of some of the cutest graphics in any Kirby games, so obviously there can't be anything scary in this game, right? Right? Whoa! What is that thing? Ugh. This is the evolution of dark matter, it is called Zero. It's a huge white ball with a bright red eye looking at you. It can actually spawn mini dark matter enemies that will fly in your face. But the scariest thing is when it goes off screen and in the background and starts shooting blood tears at you. Ah, this is so weird, so disgusting. As a kid, the first Kirby game I played was Kirby's Adventure for the NES, and I remember that when I saw the final boss for the first time, I got scared. It starts off with a quick battle against King DDD, but you soon realize that he is not the real threat here. Nope, this ball of star is the real mean thing. But Nico, that's only a ball with stars, that is not scary. I know, let me get to the point. Once you defeat this ball, it transforms into this. What exactly is this? I don't know. It looks like some sort of vampire type of monster with a double chin, ready to attack you with dangerous stars. The thing doesn't have a body though, as you can see. It only has some weird flashing lines under his cape. What is that supposed to be anyways? I don't know, but it, it kind of scares me. Kirby's Canvas Curse for the DS is a pretty strange Kirby game. You don't control Kirby like you normally do in other games. Instead, Kirby turns into a ball and you have to guide him using the DS stylus. This is a pretty interesting mechanic and the theme of drawing is very present in the game. Case in point, the final boss is named Draw Sia Sorceress. She is weird looking in itself, but this is not this form that interests us for this video. It's when you kill Draw Sia Sorceress and meet her soul. Look at this thing. What is this supposed to be? It's like a ball with four eyes and a big mouth that keeps screaming. It bounces everywhere and teleports while spawning enemies to attack you. What kind of thing is that? The next entry is the final boss from Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, and it's one weird thing. It's called Zero Two and looks very creepy. 
Remember zero one, we talked about it like two minutes ago. Well, zero two is a white ball with wings and a bright red eye that shoots laser and other things at you. It also has a halo above his head, maybe implying that it's an angel of some sort or a reincarnation of the original zero. But what kind of angel is that, you might ask? One that tries to kill you with green poison, electric balls, and much more. The more you fight zero two, the more his eye looks tired. It looks like it's painful for this thing to even exist. Also, did you notice that to defeat him you have to throw crystal shards at its eyes and it bleeds upon being attacked? In what universe is that a kid-friendly game now, Nintendo? Kirby rated M for Mature? If you're just a little bit familiar with the Kirby series, then you know that almost all of the time, the first boss is a tree called Wispy Woods. While not being truly scary, this tree evolved over the years, and as technology became more and more advanced, so did Wispy Woods in Kirby Planet Robotot. Clanky Woods is his new name, and Metal is its new game. I suppose. Instead of attacking you with the classic apples, this scary robot has way more attacks that it can use to defeat you. Missiles, rocks, drills, green metal balls that explode, it has all of that and much more. I'm not so keen on protecting the environment if it's gonna turn into this to be honest here. I think it's a first for this list today, but the next enemy is not a boss. No, he's actually present in many Kirby games and in many levels. But every time you see him, you'll know not to mess with him. The name is Scarfy. You might think I'm joking, I mean, it's so cute looking. Well, that's because Scarfy hides its true form until you try to suck him up. Now you see his true form. Oh, not so cute anymore, eh? Huge pointy teeth, one scary eye. This guy turned into a monstrosity real quick. And Scarfy has a self-exploding system too, as it will try to sacrifice itself in order to kill Kirby. This is truly spooky. In Kirby Mass Attack, you must control a bunch of Kirbys all at once, and I'm sure they're glad not to be alone against this thing, Necrodios. Ugh, just look at this monster. Now first off, no, I'm not filming this video using my iPhone like the wrong way. It's a DS game, that's why it looks like that. You see two screens now. And that's the main thing, this boss requires two screens to be displayed. It attacks you in the bottom screen with his hands, but the true scary part comes from the top screen. I mean, look at it. It has sharp metal teeth, it has a necklace made out of skulls from past creatures it has killed, and it has bright red blinking eyes. If that's not scary, then I don't know what is. Usually in Kirby games, they keep the scariest enemy for less. And that's no exception in Kirby Superstar Ultra for the Nintendo DS. First off, you actually get to see the way it is born in a cutscene. As you can see, an entire planet explodes and all of the remains like they fuse together in some sort of goopy looking thing. And from that, Mark's soul appears. Just look at this thing. What is it supposed to be? Look at those eyes, look at those moves, it can teleport around the map, it can cut himself in two, and every time it does any move, it laughs at you. Even when Kirby attacks Marks, it keeps his smile and looks directly at you, the player. Isn't that frightening? But the worst part comes from when you defeat it, where it screams like a maniac. We don't know a lot about this next and final entry, and that might be the one reason why it's so creepy. 
We now know that a new Kirby game is in the works for the Nintendo Switch and it's gonna come out in 2018. The latest shots we got from the game at the Nintendo Direct showed us Kirby's good old nemesis, King DDD. Calm down, calm down, I'm not saying King DDD is scary, I mean, he's a funny looking penguin, he's most definitely not scary. But in the next Kirby game, get ready for... Buff DDD! Oh my god, what is this monstrosity? What is wrong with the guy? Why is he so buff now? Where did he get all those muscles and why does he look so menacing, angry? I, I feel like he's looking into my soul. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to cut this video, man. It's too scary. Thanks a lot for watching this year's Halloween special. I hope I didn't spook you too much. And if I did, well, just click the subscribe button and you're gonna feel unspooked and you're gonna feel better now. See? I already feel better.